In this video, I'll be doing a review of Pair OS 8. Now this looks quite a nice Mac styled distro, and it's based on Ubuntu 13.04. Now I reviewed this distro earlier in the year when it was Pair OS 6, and they've done quite a few improvements to the user interface since then, so I do quite like the work they've done. Now it's a fairly minimal install, so if it only comes with a web browser, so that's Firefox, audio player, that's music, and VLC video player as well as a few custom pair applications, which have also improved quite considerably since version 6. Now I could just leave it there and say, yep, yeah, it's a fantastic distro, crack on. However, it has a few underlying issues which are quite severe. The first, well, being that it's based on Ubuntu 13.04. That's only supported now until the end of January 2014. So you've only got, well, at now, two and a half months usage left. You could stretch that to perhaps till about four months a <laughs> push, but realistically you've got to upgrade at some point because it's end of life and unsupported. The second, it didn't seem to scale so well. When I've opened lots of applications, it just seemed so frugal on the memory that it just seemed, ended up being starved of resources and just crashed. <laughs> it was just quite weird. I compare it to, well, Ubuntu, that if you've got loads of memory on your system, it does get very bloated and use all the memory. I'm being harsh saying it's bloated, but it likes to use all the memory that's available to it. Pet OS, on the other hand, just seems to be so frugal and needs a little bit of memory. I'd opened like quite a few applications earlier, what about half a dozen or so, which was LibreOffice, two web browsers, uh, music player, video player, yeah. Anyway, it only got to like 400 meg of RAM used, so it only used an extra 80 meg of RAM on the system and in the end just fell over and died. <laughs> quite weird. Anyway, let's take more of a look at it. But isn't that typical? It decides not to crash on me while I'm doing the recording. Let's start with the layout of the desktop. On the top left hand... But it decides to change wallpaper though. What, what are you doing? Anyway, to start with it has the shutdown menu on the top left hand side. Let's do something about this background. Oh, bloody thing. Right, just go back to that one or something. What are you doing? What are you doing? I didn't even select that one. <sighs> okay, it has a tendency to change background colour as well then. Over towards the right hand side we have a searcher. Now this searches both applications and offers to search on the internet as well. So I could type in Midori and open up Midori from here. Yeah, okay, we're missing the Midori artwork. But I could also put in weather in Swindon And we searched Wolfram Alpha. And I could also choose Google as well. So that's a rather nice feature. Carrying on over towards the right hand side, we have the email icon, and it has Thunderbird pre installed for the email client. We've got the network settings, sound settings, time and calendar, and an application message alerts. And at the bottom, we have the application launcher. The launcher itself is Unity styled, but is not Unity. So it does look quite nice. All these icons certainly seem to fit the theme quite nicely that they're trying to create in being a Mac styled OS. So let's take a look at some of the pair applications. So we've got pair contacts, pair cloud. Now this pair cloud, I did find a bit confusing on how to sign up for. So if we go create pair ID, Scroll down, okay, I'll click get your pair ID. We've got different options on pricing. Once your pair ID created, send me an email with your login and password so I can validate your space on pair cloud. Huh, what? But there's nothing to click here, so oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, seemed a nice idea though. The pair PPA manager. I remember poking fun at this before for all the Chinglish they used to have on the system. But that seems to have gone now, it's all in English now. Clean my pair, so automatic clean up, what can you do for me? Oh. Okay, just took a little while to calculate. Uh, 299 meg, so Firefox clean up. What are you doing? Where are these alerts coming from? Oh, it's missing off Midori though, what a shame, but it's got Firefox and Chrome there. System cleanup. Oh, I see it's beeping every time I hit the scan button. 
and trash clean up. My pair six. Now this is quite a nice feature. So you can change a whole lot of settings on the desktop. Well, the theme's coming soon. The dock. Where you want the notifications to appear. Very nice. And hot cornering. Let's go back to the dock settings. So we can change the theme. Whether you want 3D styled or not. Auto hiding. Dock size. And it's position. Ah, very nice. Very nice. And the position offset just moves it to one side of the screen. Cool. That all looks very nice. That's about all I really want to cover for this distro, because I'm not going to go through the applications, because I've installed so many on the system just to try it out. Oh, pair up data. Huh. This didn't work for me when I first tried it out. It just sat there going through the applications and then didn't do anything. And even now when I click on it, it ain't done anything, has it? Just an example there of some applications failing to load. Here's what I thought of Pair OS 8. It does look very well presented, and it also comes with their own integrated cloud storage service. That's quite a nice feature. However, I couldn't really understand how to sign up to it, so I didn't proceed with that in the end. On the downsides, though, it's based on Ubuntu 13.04, which, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is only supported until January 2014. So you've only got two and a half months usage out of it. But as I said, you could stretch that a little bit. But perhaps more the severe one, it didn't seem to cope too well when more tasks were thrown at it. So when I opened quite a few applications, it didn't seem to scale well, didn't want to use all the memory, and in the end just fell over. Last notable problem they had there was just at the bottom, they had had some issues with the pair updater not working. But I just used Synaptic and got around those issues that way. So overall, I've given this distro 65%, which is rather unfortunate, because I do think it looks a whole lot better than Pair OS 6, which I gave a much higher score to. I think I gave that one 80%. So yeah, if it wasn't for the underlying issues, this distro would score a whole lot better. So thanks for watching. See you later.